Hello, all of you Cherokee and friends. Uh, this is our October meeting, and if everyone will find a seat, we will get this meeting underway. We do not run on Indian time. We run on Cherokee time, which is on time. Okay? So at this time, I would call this meeting to order, and at this time, I need an invocation. I want to have uh, Councilor No Fire. You want to do the honors? Deputy Father, we just thank you for this day, and we're blessed that you call the Zero Hall all tonight safely. Uh, we uh, pray that you have your hand on this council as it makes this decision, and its hand on everyone else in the Cherokee Nation. And you bless every single one of us as we leave here today and uh, have safe journeys home. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Counselor. No far. Roll call, Shelley. Yes, sir. Keith Austin. Here. Harley Buzzard. Here. Joe Bird. Honey. Julia Coates. Sean Crittenden. Honey. Joe Deer. Honey. Mike Dobbins. Here. Kanan Duncan. Honey. Rex Jordan. Here. Daryl Legg. Here. Wes Snowfire. Here. Dora Petskowski. Here. Mike Shambaugh. Here. Mary Bakershaw. Hi. E.O. Smith. Here. Janice Taylor. Here. Victoria Vesquez. Honey. We have a quorum. Thank you, Shelley. This time I'd entertain a approval of the minutes. Got a motion and a second. All in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. All opposed, the ayes have it. This time we'll drop down to our State of the Nation from our Principal Chief, Mr. Chuck Hoskins, Jr. We have had a busy month. Intertribal Council, the five tribes, attending the Eastern Band inauguration of the Cherokee Art Market, uh, bad quit reception two or three days, and Chief, I know you have been on the road here, so we appreciate all that you do. Well, Mr. Speaker, it's an honor to be before you. We have all been busy, and it's better than the alternative, I suppose to not have anything to do, but we all have plenty to do, and we're about the business of the Cherokee people. So I'm pleased to report this month, uh, as you may have noted, we just returned from Intertribal Council last week. The Choctaw Nation hosted us. They were wonderful hosts. We got a great deal accomplished. Uh, a number of resolutions were passed, including a resolution supporting Cherokee Nation's uh, delegate to Congress. And I think it's important that uh, everyone know that we're getting support from other tribes uh, in our effort to assert that important treaty right. Of course, next week we'll be at the National Congress of American Indians. I know many members of the council will be there. Uh, a, a number of staff members will be there. That is always an important meeting, but it is of particular importance this year because, Mr. Speaker, of course, with our full support, uh, and I predict we will uh, get a victory working together, uh, you're running for National Vice President, uh, and Deputy Chief Brian Warner is running for Regional Vice President, so we're going to work very hard to make sure that those two gentlemen um, get in those positions and they are of course suited and you're suited Mr. Speaker and the Deputy Chief is suited for those positions so we will work hard to help you in any way that we can. Uh, the council is poised to approve the Durban Feeling Language Act and I know we have some members of his family here. Uh, that represents as you know Mr. Speaker a 16 million dollar investment in our language some of which is dollars that will continue on in future future years for operations and it will do what I think all of us are committed to do which is to save the Cherokee language. Uh, the council is also uh, about ready to approve the Career Readiness Act which will double the amount of business dollars that we invest in career readiness. As, as you know Mr. Speaker we fund every college student uh, with a scholarship, those that are eligible, um, but we need to do more on career readiness, career training, a number of different trades and technical positions, healthcare positions, so this will help us do this. And I intend to sign that legislation tomorrow at an event in Pryor. Uh, we, open, we hosted uh, last week the soft opening of our new largest in the country outpatient facility uh, at the W.W. Hastings campus. We look forward to a grand opening uh, in the month of November, but by all reports, things are going smoothly. Uh, in that facility and we had a good time last week. We're also asking 
our health staff from the very top of the leadership uh, to the uh, frontline employees to give additional focus to making it a patient-centered environment so we reduce wait times so that we're advocating for our patients and we're going to give our health system a structure in which they can do that not only the physical plant of the facilities but also an organizational structure that uh, will allow them to meet those goals that we all share uh, this coming weekend we will be uh, in California for at-large meetings in the Los Angeles area and the San Diego area and finally I want to thank staff council members uh, and others who participated in the indigenous people day celebrations yesterday we celebrated in Tulsa we celebrated on the campus of Northeastern State University I hope that the rest of the country looks at the leadership displayed by the students at Northeastern State University and by the leadership of the city of Tulsa about making yesterday a day that's worth celebrating and I I believe and I think many people share this that celebrating Indigenous Peoples Day on that particular Monday is the right thing to do not only here locally but for uh, the country. Uh, Mr. Speaker I'd like to make uh, a special recognition of an employee of CNI in Stillwell, uh, Becky Grimmett Bearpaw, if Becky is here. So Mr. Speaker, if I could take a moment just to tell the council uh, what Becky did. During the Cherokee <coughs> National Holiday Parade, she saved a young girl's life. She saved her life using skills that she had uh, obtained through CNB's the safety team's first aid CPR course. And it gets even, I think, more incredible than that. She's on the float, uh, on the parade route, celebrating on the float. She sees this child in distress. She immediately removes herself from the float, dislodges the piece of candy, makes sure the girl is safe, then gets back on the float <laughs> and continues. To, she didn't bring attention to herself uh, and she would not have brought attention to herself, but I think it's attention that should be brought to her for her bravery, her quick thinking, and just as important, I think her inspiration to each and every one of us to train ourselves up and to make sure we're in a position to hopefully do what needs to be done in those situations. So if we could present this certificate of recognition to Becky Grimmett Bearpaw. deserves the glory. And I'm just thankful that he, he chose me. And I'm thankful to be able to serve my people and just be there when I'm needed. Just very thankful. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Do you have family or family? Yeah. Thank you. My best friend Tiffany with me also went through the CPR also with me. Uh, my son Jaden, uh, my daughter Elena, and my sister Mary. Okay. I wonder if you would have them come down for a photograph. Yes. Okay. <coughs> Finally, Mr. Speaker, we are joined tonight by our Cherokee Youth Ambassadors. These young people, of course, dedicate a lot of their time to represent us so well at public events, and many of you interact with these young, bright young Cherokees. So I'd like to ask each of them to come up and introduce themselves. And I suppose we'll start on this end with this gentleman. That can go. <laughs> we can go all the way down to here for those appointments. Ten. The ten, then we'll. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Siona God, Jonah Daladoma. Hi, my name is Jonah Asbill. I attend Grandview School, and I'm your seventh 
10 to 12 year old Little Cherokee Ambassador 2019-2020, Wado. OCO, Lucas Dawadoa. Hi, my name is Lucas Asbill and I go to Grand View School and I'm your t 7 to 9 Little Cherokee Ambassador 2019-2020, Wado. Sioni God Desiree Dawadoa, Alts Jala Gigeti, Waj Dinela, Alesku Digega, Daladu Iakade Tiad, Wahai Digi Hio, Digi Gayange, Susong, Mog Dundo, Kalkor Digadeskosh, Agilo Dihaf Diwafledi. Hello everyone, my name is Desiree Matthews and my Cherokee name is Alts. I'm from Watts, Oklahoma and I'm 16 years old. My clan is the Wolf Clan. I'm the daughter of Miranda and Mark Matthews. I go to Colcord High School. I like to make beaded necklaces and I'm the 2019-2020 Junior Miss Cherokee. Widow. Hello, my name is Reese. I go to Cherokee Immersion School, and I'm your 2019-2020 Little Cherokee Ambassador Whittle. OCO, my name's Aria. I'm 2019-2020. For the sixth division, Little Turkey Ambassador. Thank you. Sio Naga Tohiju, Mikoroi Daladoa, Slain Janelawa, Talisko Yi Tal Yawade Tiada, Sandra Hare Agijia, Ale George Roy Agidoda. Hello everyone, how are you? My name is Mika Roy and I'm the 2019-2020 Miss Cherokee Ambassador. I'm sorry, can you guys hear me? Okay. Um, I'm from Salina, Oklahoma and I'm 22 years old. I currently attend NSU where I'm a senior and will graduate in May. Um, I'm happy to be here tonight and nice to meet all of you. Thank you. My 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 name is Walt D, D and I live and, and I go to an emergency school. And oh my god, Walt D Dawadoa, I let your game pass it and I'm and I'm five years old. <laughs> All great introductions, uh, all great introductions. Mr. Speaker, at this time I would like to um, uh, observe remembrance for those that we lost. Uh, I will name them and certainly uh, ask the council to add to the list. Rosella Bridge of Pryor, Dexter Cameron of Pryor, Henry Carey of Tahlequah, Myron Collins of Salisaw, Suzanne Crawford of Muskogee, Henry Diaz of Dewey, Robert Dunback of Wagner, Troy Giles of Tahlequah, Wesley Gertie of Tahlequah, Luther Hamill of Collinsville, Ricky Hamilton of Salisaw, Reverend Blue Hothouse of Stillwell, Viola Hutchison of Locust Grove, Michael Jamison of Salisaw, Ronald Johnson of Collinsville, Jerry Lane of Grove, Brenda Martin of Tahlequah, Dorothy Matthews of Salisaw, Charlene McWhorter of Grove, Rodney Mouse of Grove, Jess Asawi of Tahlequah, he was a Cherokee national treasure, Timothy Ragsdale of Tahlequah, Rosine Rat Ratliff of Bartlesville, Helen Ritchie of Tahlequah, Martha Salinas of Stillwell, Jerry Sims of Salisaw, Jacqueline Smith of Tahlequah, Stephanie Smith of Salisaw, uh, Aleja Elaine Toscano from California, 
Jeffrey Vaughn of Westville, Charles Wade of Muskogee, Theron Wynn of Claremore, Dolores Woods of Stillwell. Any further additions, Mr. Speaker? Buddy? Yes. 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 Uh, Miss Gina Phillips, age 95, mother of uh, Lisa Phillips Waldrop, who was Miss Cherokee of 1981, passed. Raynal Wycliffe from Kenwood, Baby McClellan from Little Kansas, Charlene McCorton from Spavanaugh, Diana Summerfield from Jay, and Barbara Chastain from Jay. Loretta Standing Water of Locust Grove. Ward Sumner, Blue Jacket. Lowy Farrell, Wasso. Chief uh, Blue Hothouse. Mr. Hothouse, correct. All right, Mr. Speaker, observe a moment of silence. Mr. Speaker, that concludes my report. What up? <clears throat> Thank you, Chief. Next, we'll drop down to our Cherokee Warrior uh, Veterans Awards, uh, Secretary S. Joe Crittenden, our Deputy Chief, Mr. Brian Warner. We Thank had uh, Miss Cherokee and Junior Miss Cherokee Desiree Miko, they also attended the Eastern Band inauguration. We were in the parade together and I think they might have ran out of candy. They were really generous in throwing out their candy. We'll have to ante up a little bit more next time, Chief. Well, Mr. Speaker, it's an honor to be here, and uh, thank you. And, and I want to say uh, a special thanks to this man to my left here. Uh, many times I've thanked him for blazing the trail and showing me the way. And you know when you're, uh, it doesn't matter when you're somewhere where you need to be or you're supposed to be, you still have those nerves. And today is like the first day I've walked in as a teacher, teaching in front of class. But you know, then I remember looking back and one of my favorite instructors was uh, Dr. George Nolan. And, uh, and so when I got up there and I didn't know what to do, I just did what Dr. Nolan did. So today I'm going to do what Deputy Crittenden always did and that was lead the charge for our veterans and, and do an upstanding job. And I want to say thank you for stepping in last week when I couldn't be here and I went to watch my son play football. That, you're an honorable man, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Council, our first uh, warrior tonight, and I'll need the at-large uh, council. Tonight, from the uh, Vietnam era, Paul M. Dudley. Mr. Dudley entered the Army Air Corps in 1942 at Fort Sill, Oklahoma, then transferred to Shepherdfield, Texas, where he became an aviation mechanic. He was then sent to Santa Monica, California and Salt Lake City, Utah, before his detachment was put on standby for overseas deployment. In 1943, Mr. Dudley transferred to Holton, Maine, where he was assigned to Thule Air Base in Greenland. Now, just a side note, Thule Air, Air Base in Greenland, folks, just to put it in perspective, is 750 miles north of the Arctic Circle, so it might be a little chilly up there. <laughs> uh, he was sent to this Air Force Base for the rest of his military tour as an aircraft electrician servicing bombers coming from Canada and the Royal Air Force, Air Force Base. He was honorably discharged as an E-5 Staff Sergeant in 1945. Decorations and citations include the American Theater Medal, the European African Middle Eastern Medal, Good Conduct Medal, World War II Victory Medal. And I made a mistake earlier. I said the Vietnam era, but sir, I stand corrected. You are a World War II veteran, and we thank you. We thank you. <laughs> Mr. Dudley, on behalf of a grateful nation, we thank you for your service to our country. Two, three. All right, 
family? Do you have any family or people? Who yes, I have uh, <clears throat> my daughter and uh, my granddaughter and a great grandson. Oh, here cool. to and I have four gentlemen, very good friends of mine, good friends of mine. And uh, I'd like for them to come down, maybe. Come on down, everybody. Come on down. <laughs> come on, Jim. Come on, Jim. Come on, Crusoe. Yeah. You know these guys. They're all nice and warm. How you doing, sir? Good. Are you sure? I don't know. Get them all out. I don't know. That's nice. Thank you. That's right. Get them out. 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 Here we go. One, two, three, big smile. Thank you. Would you like to say anything? Well, I would like to thank very much the Cherokee Nation for this award. I, I never dreamed that I would receive it, but I'm very, very pleased and honored. Thank you. The honor is all ours. All right, Deputy, what we have? Sir, our next Cherokee Medal of Patriotism Award goes in the peacetime veteran, Mr. Jared Harnar. Mr. Harner enlisted in the Marine Corps in 1993. He completed basic training and communication school in San Diego, California. Then he was transferred to Camp Kenser, Okinawa, Japan for a year. Mr. Harner returned to the state side to Camp Lujern, North Carolina to serve with the 3rd Battalion, 24th Marine Weapons Company, where he finished his military obligation and was honorably discharged as an E-5 sergeant in 1997. Decorations include letter of appreciation, certificate of accommodation, three uh, meritorious masks, rifle and pistol expert badges, National Defense Service Medal, Navy and Marine Corps Achievement Medal, Sea Service Deployment Ribbon, Good Conduct Medal. And Mr. Harner, on behalf of your nation and this nation, sir, thank you for your service to our country. serving my country. It was an honor. It was truly an honor. Our next Cherokee Warrior Award goes to Vietnam conflict veteran, Mr. Larry J. Parker. And we'll need Counselor Keith Austin. Parker. <laughs> a 
Larry Parker entered the Army in 1968. He was stationed in Louisiana, then sent to Fort Rucker, Alabama for advanced training in aviation. He was also stationed in Germany. Mr. Parker received his orders and was shipped to Vietnam, where he climbed up in the ranks after a tour of duty in Vietnam. He returned stateside to Fort Hood, Texas, where he was honorably discharged as an E-5 sergeant in 1971. Decorations include Vietnam Service Medal with one bronze service star, Republic of Vietnam Campaign Medal, Army Good Conduct Medal, Air Crewman Badge, Expert Rifle Badge. Mr. Parker, on behalf of a grateful nation, we thank you for your service to our country. This would be at large as well. Uh, from the Korean War veteran tonight, folks, let's honor Mr. Thomas A. Paris. <laughs> Mr. Paris entered the military in 1948. He was stationed in Germany until 1950 where he became a medical technician. Upon his return to the States, he was assigned to several aircraft control and warning sites. Mr. Paris was in the standby company for Korea. In 1955, he received orders to report to Canada. Then he was transferred to Lajes Air Force Base in Azores Island in Portugal for a period of three years. After 20 years in the Air Force, he returned to the state of Texas where he honorably retired in 1968. Decorations, medals, ribbons, and badge include Air Force Longevity Service Award with four silver oak leaf cluster, Air Force Commendation Medal, National Defense Medal. Mr. Paris, on behalf of a grateful nation, we thank you for your service to our country. Yeah. Nice. 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 Nice
Mr. Speaker, Just, Deputy, how we doing? We're doing good. And, and can you tell that Joe Crittenden took over by the time we got to the end of that? <laughs> I started getting a lot smoother. Yes. Uh, one of the folks wanted everybody to know that he got signed up for the service in the military and then got married to his sister. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I'd like to say thank you to each of our veterans. Thank you to all the veterans that are in our audience tonight. Let's give everyone another round of applause. Thank you, Deputy. And you know, I, you know, he got all these medals, but I, I bet you he also got best dressed too, didn't he? He's just looking pretty sharp. Okay. Hey, Deputy, we thank you and uh, Secretary Crittenden, Chief. We we appreciate what you guys do there. Uh, this is the best part of our our uh, council meeting is when we take care of our veterans and honor our veterans. It's a it's a big deal to us people. It's not something we take lightly. So we appreciate you. Okay, moving down to uh, unfinished business, uh, non pending committee reports. Uh, we have with us our CEO, Mr. Chuck Garrett. Always a pleasure to see him. Good evening, Mr. Speaker, Council. Um, it is uh, always my pleasure to be here and representing the over 7,500 hardworking men and women at Cherokee Nation businesses. The uh, detail of CMB's July financial performance was summarized in the executive and finance report that was previously provided to you. Uh, in addition to the monthly dividend uh, distributed to the nation, CMB's non-dividend financial contributions to the nation uh, include retail sales taxes of slightly over $356,000 and liquor excise taxes of roughly $22,000 for a total non-dividend financial contribution of over $378,000. Uh, regarding job statistics, uh, currently CMB has a workforce of uh, 7,560 employees. We are uh, permitted to apply a Cherokee and Native American preference on 4,570 of these positions. 70% uh, of these CMB employees are Cherokee citizens, and an additional 6.2% of these CMB employees are citizens of other tribal nations, for a total of 76% Native employment. A uh, few other 
uh, tidbits to, to share with you. Uh, the last time I had uh, the honor of addressing council, we were about to announce uh, uh, some very special news, which was the minimum wage increase uh, that we uh, recently sponsored at Cherokee Nation Businesses. We had a wonderful event in Stillwell at uh, CNI. Uh, got to join Councilor Crittenden, Councilor uh, Kena Duncan for uh, a wonderful event. Uh, Principal Chief was there, Deputy was there. Uh, we had a, a really outstanding event. We had our HR personnel there to answer questions that uh, folks had as, uh, along the way. So it was a really special day and we were really honored uh, to be able to do that and appreciate, of course, the, all of the hard work that uh, our employees do every, every day. Uh, this past month, we had uh, several opportunities to volunteer and express our commitment to the communities that we serve. Uh, volunteers from CNB, as well as uh, Principal Chief Hoskin and former Chief Bill John Baker assisted in uh, packing up food for the Community Food Bank of Eastern Oklahoma in conjunction with their annual Feeding Oklahoma Drive that is ongoing through the month of October. CMB volunteers also donated their time at the River Valley Food for Kids organization in Russellville, Arkansas. Uh, this past week, uh, we loaded and unloaded trucks as well as packed up food items for children in the area. In continuance of our company's uh, wide initiative, CMB employees also collected and delivered thousands of items and classroom necessities to schools located throughout the tribe's 14 county jurisdiction. Lastly, uh, this past weekend, we hosted uh, yet another successful Cherokee Nation art market. This was the 14th annual Cherokee Nation art market, uh, which has turned out to be one of the, the largest Native American art shows in Oklahoma and featured over 150 artists representing 50 separate tribes from around the country. So we were very honored and it was a great success. Hopefully some of you uh, were able to come out and enjoy that. Uh, Mr. Speaker, this uh, concludes my report. Be happy to address any questions that you or, or council may have. Any questions for uh, our CEO at this time? I see none. You did a I good answered job. all the questions. I'm, I find that hard to believe, but thank you for <laughs> taking it easy on the new guy. Okay. Hey. Appreciate it. Well, we appreciate your support. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> yes, sir. Okay, a motion to amend. Got a second. Any discussion? All in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. So we'll add 16 and 17 from the Education Committee. All right, out of rules. Uh, rules, I think we can take the, the first 10 in total there. Uh, I need a motion to do that as well. I'll do that. Um, our, I'd like to put the first 10 items on under new business in the form of a motion. These are appointments and reappointments to various positions. Okay, have a motion and a second for those uh, reappointments that have gone through committee. So at this time, I'd entertain a motion to approve. So moved. Got a motion and a second. All in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. All opposed. That was a double motion. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> item number 11, Councillor Vasquez, would you take the number 11? Yes. This is a, an amendment to the resolution authorizing Cherokee Nation to become a member of the National Congress of American Indians and to appoint the tribal delegate and alternates. I move for its approval. Second. Got a motion and a second. Any discussion? If not, all in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. All opposed, the ayes have it. Councillor Leg, would you take the Career Readiness Act? <clears throat> Number 12? Yes, sir. Mine just says Career Readiness Act. Right here. Yes. <coughs> make a motion to approve. Oh, make a motion to approve. Okay. Got a motion to approve. Second. Got a second. Any discussion? If not, all in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. All opposed, the ayes have it. 13 is the Durban Feeling Language Preservation Act. Is that a form of a motion? I have a motion and a second. Any discussion? 
We do have some of the family here. I know Durbin was not able to make it tonight, but we have his brother Russell. We're very honored that you are here, Russell. Ozali Heliko, such a them. Though down to that, Durbin. Was not able to be here, still in a little pain, but we just keep him in our prayers. And this uh, this Durbin Fetal Language Preservation Act, Chief, is uh, quite an honor, and uh, I want to commend you for making that choice. I don't know if we could have found a better person at that level for what he has contributed to our tribe, our language, preservation, and just being part of who we are. So appreciate that. Mr. Speaker, if I could, first of all, I appreciate that. I intend to sign that. Very appropriate. Thank you. Okay, I think we have a motion and a second. Uh, all in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. All opposed, the ayes have it. 14th, uh, Councillor uh, Nofire, you want to take that? Yes, this is an act amending uh, legislation 1219, the Housing, Jobs, and Sustainable Community Act of 2019. I put that in form of a motion. Second. Got a motion and a second. Any discussion? If not, all in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. I'm opposed. The ayes have it. Coming out of the Executive and Finance Committee, uh, number 15, <laughs> Councillor Taylor, you want to take that? Yes, this is an act amending Legislative Act 15-19, authorizing the comprehensive operating budget for fiscal year 2020, Mod 1, and declaring an emergency. I put that in the form of a motion. Got a motion and a second. Any discussion? If not, all in favor, signify by saying aye. aye. All opposed. The ayes have it. Out of Education Committee, number 16, Councillor Deer, you want to take that? This is a resolution confirming support for Joe Burt as candidate for first vice president of the National Congress of American Indians. I'll put that in the form of a motion. Second. Got a motion and a second. Any discussion? If not, all in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. All opposed, the ayes have it. Uh, Councillor George, you want to take the last one? Yes, this is a resolution confirming support for Ryan Warner's candidate for Eastern Oklahoma Regional Vice President of the National Congress of American Indians. And I put that in the form of a motion. Second. Got a motion and a second. Any discussion? If not, all in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. All opposed, the ayes have it. Brian and I raised our hand on these positions because we didn't have anything else to do. <laughs> but anyway, any announcements to my right here? Any announcements to my left? Been a long day, council members. Appreciate you all your hard work, chief, deputy. Appreciate the staff and all the input we've had. We've had a good day. We've had a good week. So with that, I say. Oh, yes, uh, secretary. Sorry. Um, excuse me, speaker, uh, chief. Uh, we were we had a couple of special people that we wanted to introduce sure. uh, to the council and uh, apologize for being out of order here. But uh, we bring, have two young men, up. and if I may just come down and uh, ask the principal chief to, to join me. Uh, and yes, and chief, we're going to do the the, the, the family afterwards, correct? Sure. Okay. Sure. And definitely, if you wouldn't mind as well. well. Um, we have two young men that uh, are part of uh, the CMB team that uh, provides training for CPR and other uh, other safety related items, and uh, I believe help provide some of the training for Miss uh, for for our hero this evening. So, uh, could you gentlemen come down and join us and and introduce yourselves and uh, just mention a little bit about what you do, if you wouldn't mind. Uh, my name is Greg Jackson. I'm with CNB Safety. <laughs> uh, thank you. Uh, my name is Matthew McQuarrie. I'm uh, I'm also with CNB Safety. I'm the senior manager, and uh, we really uh, appreciate you guys honoring us. But we were here to support her, and uh, well, one reason we were here, the main reason is it's awesome to know that what we do as a company and a department benefits people not only in their job but in their uh, home life as well. So thank you. Thank <laughs> you. 
Do you want uh, uh, Russell Phelan and his family to come down? We have a table set up outside. Okay. Do it out there? Okay. Well, at this time, I need a motion to uh, Agiosi. So I've got a motion and a second. All in favor? Agiosi.